Hi there guys, welcome to Such As Life, a channel dedicated to exploring the mysteries and complexities of life and philosophy revolving around it. On this channel, we will delve into a variety of topics related to life and how we live it, including personal growth, relationships, and the search for meaning and purpose. Whether you are a seasoned philosopher or just starting to think about the big questions in life, we hope you will join us on this journey of discovery and self-exploration. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the mysteries of life together. Risk is an inherent part of the human experience. From the moment we are born, we are faced with uncertainty and the possibility of negative consequences. Yet, it is our ability to take calculated risks that often leads us to greater success, fulfillment, and personal growth. Whether it's starting a business, investing in a new opportunity, pursuing a new career, or simply making a decision about our daily lives, we are constantly faced with the potential risks and rewards of any given situation. In this video, we ask AI to explore the concept of risk and how to navigate it in our lives. We will delve into the benefits and drawbacks of risk-taking, examine the research on risk-takers versus non-risk-takers, and discuss how to estimate risk versus reward. So, let's dive in and learn more about the role of risk in our lives. Risk is a concept that has been studied and debated by scholars across a wide range of fields, from finance and economics to psychology and sociology. At its core, risk refers to the possibility of an event occurring and the potential negative consequences that may result from that event. In our daily lives, we are constantly faced with situations that involve some degree of risk. For example, when we cross the street, we are taking a risk that we may be hit by a car. When we invest our money in the stock market, we are taking a risk that the value of our investments may decrease. And the list goes on and on, in fact one would say our own existence is risk-taking by itself. Risk-taking can be a valuable tool for personal growth and self-discovery as it can help us learn more about ourselves and pursue our goals. For instance, it helps in pushing beyond our comfort zones. When we take risks, we are often faced with challenges and obstacles that push us beyond our comfort zones. This can be uncomfortable and even scary at times, but it can also be a powerful way of learning more about our own abilities and limitations. By confronting our fears and pushing beyond our limits, we can build resilience and develop new skills and competencies. Another valuable lesson that risk-taking teaches us is that it challenges the status quo. Risk-taking can also be a way of challenging the status quo and pursuing our passions and dreams. When we take risks, we are often doing something that others might consider unconventional or even risky. By following our own path and pursuing our own goals, we can break free from the expectations and limitations that others might impose on us. Risk-taking can also build self-confidence. Risk-taking can be a powerful way of building self-confidence and a sense of self-efficacy. When we take risks and succeed, we are able to see ourselves in a new light and recognize our own abilities and strengths. This can be a powerful motivator for continued growth and development. That being said, it's also equally as important to avoid risks that may have negative consequences or go against your personal values and beliefs. Risks that are unethical or illegal can have serious consequences, both legally and morally. It's also important to carefully evaluate potential risks before making a decision, as risks driven by impulsivity or emotion can be dangerous and lead to poor decision-making. Additionally, risks that have potential costs that outweigh the potential benefits, such as starting a new business without the financial resources to weather potential losses, may not be worth taking. Always work on your due diligence to determine if the potential benefits outweigh the potential costs. This leads nicely to our next segment on how we work on our due diligence when assessing risk we are in and whether it's worth pursuing. We know not all risks are created equal. Some risks are more likely to occur than others, while some risks may have more severe consequences than others. Understanding the probability and potential consequences of a given risk is essential to making informed decisions and managing risk effectively. In addition, it's important to recognize that risk can take many different forms. Financial risks, such as investing in a new business venture or buying a house, are just one type of risk. Other types of risk include social risks, such as speaking up in a group or expressing one's opinions, as well as physical risks, such as trying out a new adventure sport or undergoing a medical procedure. Regardless of the type of risk, the decision to take a risk involves a trade-off between potential benefits and potential costs. When making decisions about risk, it's important to consider not only the probability of success but also the potential downside of failure. Navigating risk-taking in life requires a thoughtful and deliberate approach. While risk can be an essential component of personal and professional growth, it can also lead to significant setbacks and negative consequences if not managed effectively. To navigate risk-taking, we need to follow a structured process that includes assessing potential risks and rewards, evaluating our options, and making informed decisions. 
The first step in navigating risk-taking is to assess the potential risks and rewards of any given situation. This involves taking a critical look at the situation, understanding the possible outcomes, and weighing the potential benefits against the potential costs. It's important to consider the probability of each outcome, as well as the potential severity of any negative consequences. For example, when considering a new investment opportunity, it's essential to evaluate the potential returns against the risk of losing your investment. Probability of success versus potential costs of failure involves assessing the potential risks associated with the decision and considering how likely it is that these risks will materialize. For example, if you're considering investing in a new business venture, you'll want to evaluate the potential risks associated with the venture, such as competition, market volatility, and regulatory issues. In addition to considering the probability of success and potential costs of failure, it's also important to evaluate the potential upside and downside of any given decision. This involves weighing the potential benefits of the decision against the potential risks. For example, if you're considering starting your own business, you'll want to evaluate the potential benefits of being your own boss, such as flexibility and control over your work, against the potential risks of failure, such as financial loss and career setbacks. Finally, it's important to evaluate whether the potential reward of a given decision is worth the risk. This involves considering your personal risk tolerance and evaluating whether the potential benefits of the decision are significant enough to justify the potential risks. For example, if you're considering making a risky investment, you'll want to evaluate whether the potential returns are significant enough to justify the potential financial loss. Once a decision has been made on taking risk on something, it's important to monitor the situation and adjust our approach as needed. Risk is inherently unpredictable, and there may be unexpected outcomes or new information that emerges over time. By staying vigilant and adaptable, we can minimize the negative consequences of risk-taking and maximize our chances of success. You might be wondering, are there research studies that conclude risk-taking? Can we qualitatively or quantitatively measure risk-takers versus rewards they obtain? Well most studies have indicated that taking calculated legitimate risks can lead to greater success and fulfillment in life. While it's important to weigh the potential risks and rewards of any decision, being too risk-averse more often does hold us back from achieving our goals and pursuing our passions. By taking calculated risks and being willing to step outside our comfort zones, we are likely to unlock new opportunities and achieve greater success in our personal and professional lives. Some of these studies that we have alluded to, which takes into account the relationship between risk-taking and success, with many of them suggesting a positive correlation between the two are, a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that people who are willing to take risks tend to have higher levels of creativity and innovation. The study involved participants taking a series of risk-taking tasks and found that those who took more risks also generated more creative solutions to problems. Another study published in the Journal of Business Venturing found that entrepreneurs who take calculated risks are more likely to achieve success. The study surveyed over 300 entrepreneurs and found that those who took calculated risks were more likely to have successful businesses. For good measure another study published in the Journal of Applied Psychology also found that people who take risks tend to be more satisfied with their jobs. The study surveyed over 300 employees and found that those who were willing to take risks were more likely to be engaged in their work and had higher levels of job satisfaction. And finally in the same vein, a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that people who take risks tend to have higher levels of life satisfaction. The study involved participants completing a series of risk-taking tasks and found that those who took more risks also reported higher levels of life satisfaction. So what can we conclude on this? The concept of risk-taking is inherently intertwined with the notion of free will and the human desire to pursue our passions and dreams. However, the pursuit of these desires is often accompanied by uncertainty, fear, and potential negative consequences. It is in these moments that we must contemplate the relationship between risk and reward, and consider the ethical implications of our actions. As we navigate the balance between risk and reward, we are forced to confront our own values and beliefs, and weigh the potential benefits against the potential costs. In doing so, we are forced to grapple with fundamental questions of human existence, such as the nature of free will, the purpose of our lives, and the value of personal growth. Ultimately, the decision to take risks is a deeply personal one, rooted in our individual philosophies and beliefs. As we ponder the intricacies of risk-taking, we are forced to confront our own mortality and consider what truly matters to us in this fleeting moment of existence. So, as we continue on our journey through life, let us not shy away from taking risks, but rather approach them with a sense of purpose and meaning, guided by our own moral compass and the quest for personal growth and fulfillment. We conclude with our favorite quote, taking a risk is simply trading today's comfort for tomorrow's possibility. A quote attributed to Linda Poindexter. 
So there you go folks, thanks for joining us on Such As Life channel for this brief thought experiment. We hope that you have enjoyed exploring the mysteries and complexities of life and philosophy with us. Remember, life is a journey of self-discovery and personal growth, and there is always more to learn and discover. We encourage you to continue thinking deeply about the big questions in life and to seek out new experiences and perspectives that can help you to grow and evolve. We look forward to sharing more insights and ideas with you on future episodes of Such As Life. If you like the content we would love to hear your comments below and remember to have a healthy discussion so we all can benefit together. We would appreciate it if you could share, like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be updated with our upcoming thought-provoking discussions on this channel. Until next time, take care and keep exploring the mysteries of life.